Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC, and today we're gonna help you find and replace your Wi-Fi card on your motherboard. Sometimes a replacement part is needed in the event that there's a new Wi-Fi technology or the current one you have is damaged or needs to be replaced. In this quick tutorial, we will go over how to locate it on your motherboard and how to uninstall it and reinstall the new one. In previous videos, we have shown how to install an M.2 directly onto the motherboard. So instead of looking for a card that looks around this size, we're actually gonna be looking for one that's about a quarter of the size. It's a nice little square. Another way to locate the M.2 Wi-Fi card is actually following along the wires. So on your motherboard, you'll have your I.O. where it has your USB ports, uh, the HDMI that connects to your integrated graphics if you have a CPU that's capable of it. But up at the top or sometimes at the bottom, there will be these two little prongs where antennas are supposed to be connected. You can actually go open up your computer, look inside and find out where they're at. Either they're at the top, the antennas, or at the bottom and just follow along. There should be a cable that connects directly to the M.2 Wi-Fi card on the motherboard. So now we're gonna go into the process of actually uninstalling the card. Now the first thing you wanna do is turn off your computer, make sure it's completely off, unplug it from the power cable, make sure the power supply is turned off, everything's disconnected, and get a nice place where you can work. It might either be a little bit to the left of where your graphics card is now, or might be directly underneath. So you could, or you possibly have to take out the graphics card. We've actually done a video on that, and you could check out that video. Now we're able to locate the M.2 card, so you'll see that there's two cables and that there's one screw, and it's sitting inside a little slot. So the first thing you wanna do is, uh, what I'd like to do is first unscrew it, and then you are able to lightly pull it out. Now, our cables aren't attached to the motherboard, so it's easy for us to pull out the card, but in the case that your cable is attached to the motherboard, it's easy to pop up these cables. What you wanna do is grab one of them and then pull it up don't pull it to the left, don't pull it to the right, you just wanna gently pull up, it'll pop out very easily. The second thing is, is you don't have to worry about the cables getting mixed up. So like I said, on some motherboards, the cables are different colors, one will be white or black, or they'll have some sort of writing on it that it says auxiliary or aux and main, um, and you'll just plug them into the parts accordingly. And now we just have a nice little chip like this, and that's the removal. Very simple, very easy, unscrew and unplug. That's it. Now set the chip aside, and then uh, the antennas are mounted onto the motherboard. Um, so on the back side here of our motherboard, there's actually two screws that actually allows you to remove that. So if the antenna is bad and you need to remove it, all you have to do is unscrew these two on the back here. Say it's been a couple days and you already got your Wi-Fi M.2 card. So to plug it back in, I'm just gonna slide it in. You'll see on the card that there's a short side and that there's a long side, much like RAM. And then you're gonna go ahead and get your screwdriver. The easiest way to do it is uh, lightly press down on the M.2 so that way the back side where the screw lines up is lined up with the screw hole. Get the cable, gently plug it in, you'll hear a nice little snap. And there you have it. Now you're all set. Now that we have the card installed into the motherboard, you're gonna go ahead and boot up your system. And if your Wi-Fi isn't working immediately, don't freak out. You could just need to update the drivers. So what you're gonna do is either connect an ethernet cable into your system or go to another computer and download the drivers. And what the way you're gonna do that is, is go to your motherboard manufacturer, um, check out their, their uh, support manual and look for the Wi-Fi drivers, reinstall those or get a USB, put the drivers on those, bring it over to your computer and install it that way. And then you should be all set. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video resolved any issue you were having. Um, make sure you follow us on all social media for more updates on products, deals, and even giveaways. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing a brand new CyberPower PC or customizing your own, you can check it out at CyberPowerPC.com. And this is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC signing off. Peace.